Hi, Daily Dosers. This is Terry. Today is Saturday, February 9th. Lazy day today, which is awesome. Um, the doctor, when I got my staples out, he cleared me to swim, but I was too freaked out to swim because there was still redness at the site, and I was just like too freaked out to get in the pool. So um, my hubby recommended that we take a walk around the parking garage. So yesterday morning at 6.30, we... I uh, did two laps around the parking garage, but it turns out that my whole last week that I've been walking here in the apartment, I'm supposed to get up every hour and walk. I guess I've been walking kind of hunched over, trying to protect protect that site of the incision or whether I had pain, but um, because yesterday when I tried to walk upright, those muscles really pulled and it was I was pretty sore. But I did take a second walk then around 9 o'clock. I did another lap around the garage parking lot. Yay! Without hubby. He's a good influence. But it, it was, um, I was kind of sore last night. So I may have overdone it. But so I'm trying to ease back into the, into getting healthy again. I, um, uh, I get the port put in Wednesday, so hopefully I'll be able to swim maybe Monday and Tuesday. I want to be as healthy as I can. And and he says I can swim once the port is in, so I don't know how long I'll have to wait once I, I have it put in. So, Okay. Um, positive part. Oh, and I did lots of reading on radiation for the first time yesterday. I probably shouldn't have done that. Um, <laughs> But, you know, I, I, I type in, like, one little question on the Internet, and I'm reading reputable sites, like, um, you know, what the Mayo Center tells their patients on how to get ready for colorectal cancer, radiation, and those kinds of things. John Ketterling, I don't know, all these websites. but So they're reputable. Um, the only blogs that I've really been following are, like, you know, how people prepare tips on, on getting through chemo and that kind of thing. But the radiation I started to read on yesterday, so gotta take that slow. A lot to absorb, a lot to take in. <clears throat> um, okay, so the uh, most positive thing in the, in the last 24 hours, I got to hear from uh, my friend Aaliyah in Brooklyn. It was a wonderful phone call. Thank you, honey. And um, and then I got a handwritten letter. I mean, not even a typed you know, like a Word doc letter. It was a handwritten letter from my college roommate, Kathy. Thank you. It was wonderful. I don't even do that. I mean, I think I'm like the queen of correspondence, and I don't even do handwritten letters ever. Thank you. Okay, got lots of cards this week, and um, I've been putting pictures of the cards that I receive every week out on my Facebook, but Maybe next week I'll take a video. I'll, I'll set up all the cards. <laughs> it's just incredible how many cards I've been getting. It's awesome. You know, I just don't think anybody does snail mail anymore. So it's just such a treat to get one. I love it. Okay. All right. That's all I have for today. Um, this is a good last 24 hours. My friend Mara brought me lots of movies, so I watched Dream Girls for the first time last night. And if you haven't seen it, it's a must-see. I grew up, I loved Motown. My big sisters listened to Motown when I was growing up. Love Motown. And um, Effie made me cry. Jennifer Hudson. She rocked in that film. Okay. All right. Have a wonderful day. I will see you tomorrow. Thank you so much for holding me accountable to having a positive attitude. I tried to straighten my hair because I'm going to try to go to church this weekend, but it didn't work very good. It's a semi-straighten. <laughs> Yesterday's video, I looked like a wet puppy. A wet cocker spaniel, so. Okay, I'm trying to get it straightened. Got my hand shaking a little bit. Good grief. Okay. <gasps> Steady. Okay. Talk to you tomorrow.